will be the first time I ever spend significant time on a Polaris other than just trying one out. So I'm super excited. It'll be fun. You know, every everybody makes great sleds these days. Um, excited to finally finally try a Polaris for more than just a few minutes. We're uh, gonna meet our uh, our boy Mason Miller. They've got a cabin there outside of Cook City. So we're gonna roll into Cook City tonight, meet up with Mason, and then the plan is tomorrow we're gonna go rip, stay in Cook City, and. Yeah, should be a good time. I'm really excited to try the Polaris out, but the journey's just beginning now. There she, there she is. Right there. And we got one to start. Oh, do we? Yeah. Sick. All right, Mason, what's the game plan today? Go get some content or a new boost. Excited to ride the new boost? Excited to finally try this thing out. We got our hands on one, thanks to Action Motorsports there in Gillette, Wyoming. Um, a couple disclaimers. One, I've been riding Skidoo since I was three years old. I haven't spent more than 10 minutes on a Polaris before. So, uh, get the best in the face of snow. I've uh, also been on Skidoo my whole life. Last year I had a Skidoo factory turbo until my New Year's trip and I totaled it. Switched to uh, Polaris Chaos right over there. And so yeah, I'm excited to see the difference between the two turbos since I've ridden both quite a bit, so. Yeah, yeah, Mason switched from Skidoo over to Polaris last year, so we got all, we got a big group with us today. We got a couple other Polaris riders, so we'll be able to get their opinions on this thing. Skidoo <laughs> rocks! As well as some other Skidoo riders. Yeah. So uh, for the record, Mason and I are not paid to ride this. We're not paid by either brand. I'm not particularly loyal. I've just been riding Skidoo since I was three. And if it's not broke, no reason to fix it. Um, but I'm excited to try this. I'm super open-minded. I can't wait to see how this thing performs. I think it's gonna be an absolute animal. It'll just take me a minute to get used to it. I think it's uh, enough talking. I think it's time to hit the snow and see how this thing does. So let's do it. Perfect. <laughs> First few seconds here. We just got it off the trail. Oh shit. <laughs> well, that's the uh, first five seconds on the new Polaris. <laughs> I'd say she rips, huh? Yeah, it doesn't take much to flip her over backwards, and it's a 65 Pro. This is gonna be uh, some comedy right here. First uh, few minutes here on the Polaris. Remember, 20 years on a Skidoo.
All right, that's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe how easy it spun around once you get on some the, steeper the track, stuff. Track just zoom, cool back, drop down. Yeah, right just, up. Just, you know. Say, ah! and then after that, you just drop in, just ride the barrel and get pitted. Oh shit. That's what I'm so pitted like that. Yeah. Very good first impression. Easy work for the turbo. Now let's see how the skidoo does. We're going to do our first comparison here between the 165 Skidoo factory turbo 3 inch track versus the Polaris factory turbo 165 3 inch track. Um, we found a nice hill here, nothing crazy steep. We're staying off the steep stuff anyway because the Avi danger is so high. But we found a nice hill, it's nice and open, there's a couple tracks. Um, so both sleds will get, a, will get a start on some tracks to get some momentum. And then uh, Mason is going to be doing the riding, his objective. Um, basically, it's just a haul ass. There might be a big difference, there might not be a difference. So, here we go. They both have pretty similar pole, though. I mean, yeah. A little bigger top end. I noticed I started faster on the skidoo than I did this. I also noticed you let off the throttle at the beginning yep. with the Polaris versus the skidoo. You were wide open the whole time. Yep. But man, it still hauled ass. Yeah. You still went. I think you went by by me faster. When I let off the throttle down there, I was trying to get the front to lift a little, but yeah. this thing's just a monster climbing. <laughs> yeah.
conclusion is it's just gonna come down to who's gonna be putting out more boost. It's gonna be a boost war, like what we were talking about. And so, but I love it, it ran good. And I can't wait for my 155 Chaos boost to show up here in a month or so, whenever it does. <laughs> so if you're a Polaris guy, you're looking to upgrade, do you think it's worth the upgrade? For sure, it is worth every penny, I think. I mean, they, they're making some power, they handle good. That new 7S display is incredible. I mean. It's awesome, so. And if you're a Skidoo guy, do you think it's worth the switch? That's a tough question. <laughs> we'll just see what, how these Polaris 850s hold up to nine pounds of boost. So I'm editing the video right now, and I just got a couple final thoughts before I uh, release the video and I put this at the end. I freaking loved the new Polaris Boost. That thing rips. Um, I mean, nine pounds of boost. The Polaris pulls harder, it has more power. Um, and like Mason said, and what we kind of talked about throughout the ride, is that we're really just going to see a boost war now. Um, who can turn up their sled the most? Who's going to be running the most pounds of boost? It's a very exciting time to be a Polaris or a Skidoo rider. Uh, these, two, these two companies are pushing each other. Um, I never quite understood the brand bashing because without one, the other one doesn't get pushed as much. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, without Skidoo releasing the factory turbo first, where would Polaris be? And vice versa. As a Skidoo rider, I don't think you have any reason to switch. I would wait to see what Skidoo comes out with to answer the Patriot Boost. Because um, I know Skidoo is kind of due for a new platform. They've been running the Gen 4 since 2017. So I think this, this spring we're gonna kind of see Maybe a Gen 5 platform, I'm not sure, but I know they're probably gonna have a good answer for, for Polaris, because I do think Polaris is ahead right now. The thing I actually ended up liking the most about the Polaris wasn't even the boost. It was the stupid, not the stupid, but it was the seven inch display screen. I thought that was innovative. I thought that was super cool. What Polaris has done with that display screen is super innovative. Um, basically, you compare it to Skidoo's uh, calculator screen, there's a huge difference there. So it's the little touches like that that I think make the biggest difference when you have two sleds that are basically equal in performance. It's those little details that kind of persuade you to go one way or another. So I really like that about the Polaris, that, that extra storage and that seven inch display. I thought that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. It's time for uh, it's time for Skidoo to answer back, and then as soon as Skidoo answers back, you're gonna see Polaris answer back, and it's just a really good time to be a Polaris or a Skidoo rider. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.